In this video, we'll be adding a shooting mechanic into the game and we'll also be adding asteroids for our player to shoot. So, let's begin. To get started, we need to add asteroids into our game. So let's go to upload a sprite and we'll go to our asteroids folder. And the link is in the description. Make sure to open the mega file and then select one of any of the asteroids. And then now that we have this one asteroids, we want to shrink it down a bit. 20 should work. And then we go to costumes and we want to add more variations of our asteroid. So just go ahead and select any combination of asteroids that you think look good. I'll just select these eight. Okay, now that we have eight asteroids to work with, let's go ahead in the code and start creating a script for them so that they can start falling from the sky. So first things first, we want to hide the original asteroid. So let's go to when flag is clicked and then we go to looks and hide the original asteroid. And then we can go ahead to control and select the forever loop. And then we want to wait a certain amount of seconds. Here we'll wait two to four seconds. So we can go to our random block and select two to four. And then we can create a clone of myself and we find this in control. Now we're creating clones of the asteroids. And now we bring the when I start as clone so we can start creating a script for what happens immediately when clones are created. So when a clone is created, we want any one of these eight asteroid sprites to be shown. So we'll switch our costume. We go to operators and then pick random one to eight. And how this works is that it would choose any one of the costume so if we were to choose one it will choose the first asteroid if it were to choose three it will choose the third asteroid and so on so now that we have a costume picked we will want to go into looks and then show the asteroid and then we want our asteroid to start from somewhere so how we're going to create these asteroids is first go to x and then we'll have it start from the top so we'll have our y at 180 but we want it to be in any random position. So we'll go to pick random and then we'll select zero to 235. And the reason we're doing this is because we only want from the middle all the way to the right to be spawned. So we'll have asteroids in the right of our screen and then we'll have another spread to create asteroids on the left side of our screen. So now that we've picked a position, we want our asteroids to start falling until they reach the ground. And the perfect loop for this would be repeat until. And then the condition we'll need for this is repeat until. And then we bring a less than operator and go to motion and say repeat until the Y position is less than negative 178. So we'll continue falling down until our Y position is less than 178. So now let's add the script in here for our asteroid to fall down. So we go to motion and select this change Y by. So we'll also have this as a random, but we'll have negative numbers because we want it to move downwards. So our lowest number is here, highest number on the right. Next, we want it to turn clockwise. We want it just to turn by five degrees. Once it's finally reached the bottom, we want to delete the clone. So we can just delete it. Now if we play, we'll see that asteroids are spawning on the right side of the screen. So now we can just go ahead and rename this to asteroids right side and we can go ahead and duplicate this and say asteroids left side and the difference here is we're going to make this a negative 234 so that we go from zero all the way to the negative side so now that we've done this 
will have asteroids falling or just cruising downwards and we're able to dodge them but we can't actually attack or shoot these asteroids because we don't have bullets so we're going to go ahead and upload a brand new sprite so the sprite we use here will be found in the royalty free game art spaceship from unlock studio link in the description for this and the asteroids and then we'll just go ahead and select this bullet sprite and then we go to costumes and we want to select the bullet and rotate it right so this doesn't have to be perfect but make sure just as right as possible and this bullet is pretty big so we're going to make this 35 and then we can start adding script to it so first the most simple thing we do is just go to when flag is clicked and we hide it so we hide the original bullet and next what you want to do is set up the clones so we say when i start as a clone we want the bullet to show and right after it shows we want it to go to our player so we go to the go to x or y position block and then go to sensing and then select this block called backdrop of stage and then just duplicate it and then on the right side we change this from stage to player for both of them move this to the x position change this to y position and now it's going to spawn at our player now we go ahead to the motion and then select point in direction and then we go right back to sensing and drag this exact same block select the player and then the direction of player now we want our bullet to start moving so we can go ahead to the control select the repeat until and then we're going to have three different conditions so we just select two or blocks and then we say we'll continue moving in the direction the player shot in so we select our motion and bring the move block we make this move 20 steps go back to sensing and then select the touching block duplicate this three times and put all of these inside the OI statements so if we're touching the edge if we're touching the asteroids or if we're touching the right or left asteroids so we move until we touch any of these three conditions and then after we've moved we want some wait time before we actually delete the bullet so we're going to wait 0 0.05 seconds this will give the asteroid time to register that it's been hit so then once we're done we then delete this clone now we should go back to our asteroids and this is when we now add a script for our asteroids being hit so we say when i start as clone and then go into the forever loop and then we say if and we go to sensing touching the bullet we then wait a certain amount of seconds so that our bullet can register that it's being that it's touching the asteroid and then we go ahead and delete this clone now we also want to create a variable so we go to variables make a variable and call this asteroids destroyed just so we have a little score for right now so we can count how many asteroids we've destroyed so we can go ahead and set asteroids destroyed to zero when flag is clicked and then we just change it by y every time it's being hit now we can just move this exact script to this asteroid it will stay here but then also create a duplicate and right here so we don't have to recreate the script and then the last thing we do is go to our player sprite and then we go right back to control actually events and then say when i receive start game and then we go to control now we go to control and select the forever loop 
and then bring a if loop and then we say if our mouse is down then we create clones of the bullet so here we don't create a clone of myself but we choose the bullet and then we want some wait time before we create the next bullet so that our bullets aren't you know created in a line now if we test this we can shoot our asteroids well, I'm not really good at aim. I think I need some aimbot. But regardless, we have a working shooting mechanic and we have asteroids to shoot. So that's all for this episode. What we're going to do in the next episode is add more effects to the bullet attack. So what we're going to do is if we shoot an asteroid, it's going to explode. We're going to give our players some health so that we can't just be invincible and have asteroids going right through us. We also want our player to have a way to lose. So if they get hit three times, then the game is over. And then we also want an explosion effect whenever our player is hit by the asteroid. So make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss the next banger. See you in the next video. Mm -hmm.